Hey guys, this is Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and today we're going to talk about how you can plumb zip grow towers and farm walls into home and hobby aquaponic systems. So right behind me, you guys see on my aqua farm. These are the uh, the kits that Travis Huey sells. I believe that we're selling them. They're great, awesome little kits, but they are not tower kits. They're your standard ebb and flow or uh, flood and drain type systems. And uh, in this system, we have the sump tank down below, which also is the fish tank. So the fish kind of swimming around in their tank. We pump water up into the bed and it drains back. It's great, it works really, really well. It's actually the best aquaponic system that we've tested on the market. So this system does not come with towers, but what we did is we set it up here in the, in the warehouse so we could run it, test it, enjoy it. And um, we set up a farm wall behind it. So you see a farm wall on the wall back there. And what we did is we just dropped another pump into the fish tank, pumping up to the tops of the towers. It drains into the bottom gutter through the tower. And then uh, there is just a bulkhead fitting in the, that bottom gutter that drains right back into the system. That's as easy as it is. It is very, very simple. So we started with dedicated systems. That is systems that were designed for towers. And there are a lot of different ways. You guys have heard uh, about split flow systems. If you haven't watched our videos on split flow systems, please check those out. You've also heard of uh, one pump, uh, you know, chop systems or uh, chift pist systems. And if you're looking for those acronyms, you can go back through some of our earlier videos. Uh, constant height in fish tank, pump in sump tank, and um, a constant height one pump. Uh, these are all basically different descriptions for similar systems. There are lots of different configurations here. In this particular configuration, we're essentially using kind of a, a uh, you know, chop system where we're pumping directly out of the fish tank up to the towers and uh, back to the fish tank, just flowing back. But you know, these are so simple to plumb up that no matter how you're thinking about doing it, it's probably possible. Uh, basically, what you really need is a pump that can move water from your fish tank to your towers and have it drain back. You can have it drain into the bed if you want, but what we found is that's not really necessary. If you're already kind of doing this ebb and flow cycle with your bed, you're going to be getting great filtration and there's really no need to drain the towers directly back to the bed. If you have a farm wall, if you have a freestanding aquaponic system running already, know that it's very, very simple to plumb that, aqu that aquaponic system and that farm wall together in a way that will work really, really well and be really, really simple. Hopefully this was useful to you in showing you that this can be done. We're gonna have another few, uh, video in the future that walks you through the entire process of plumbing these things together and makes it really, really clear. If you guys want to learn more, make sure you're checking out Upstart University. We've got an entire course. It is a massive course. Tens of hours of coursework on aquaponic systems, design, uh, operation, all of that stuff. Make sure you check that out and check out the blog as well. And as always, subscription is critical. Please subscribe if you enjoy these videos. It allows us to get you guys the information that you need, the information that you want in the most direct way possible.